we inch closer to summer, pools in some counties are preparing to reopen, while others have decided not to open at all for the season. And KSNT News reporter Reina Garcia is live now in West Topeka to tell us what the factors are when making that decision. Reina? Well, Brooke Molly, recently we've learned that pools in Riley County won't open at all this summer, but that's not the case for Shawnee County. Now, Shawnee North Family Aquatic Center is one of its pools that will be opening up next month. Now, of course, that's barring any changes to the governor's reopening plan or the county's. So what exactly will things look like when they open up and how do customers feel about it? Well, I went to find out. At this time of year, employees at pools in Shawnee County would normally be gearing up for Memorial Day, which marks the beginning of pool season. Carissa Hand babysits and says the kids are looking forward to some fun in the sun. Every five minutes, Junior's like, oh, can we go swimming? I wish it was open, you know, so give us a variety of different things to do. But because of the pandemic, opening day has been pushed back. Under the governor's plan, pools will have to wait until at least June 8th to open, and gatherings will be limited to 45 people. But Shawnee County Parks and Recreation has decided to push their opening day back even further. June 22nd is when we're going to open up the facility. Uh, to the regular patrons coming in. Um, that way people can enjoy themselves more and we're not busy trying to tell people to stay apart. June 22nd is when Kansas would phase out and all restrictions would be lifted. But Alger says they'll still be taking extra safety precautions. We're going the extra mile on before we open and uh, we'll disinfect the whole facility. Uh, we'll also disinfect the facility every night when we close. Bathrooms will be hit about every 30 minutes. They'll also be taking safety breaks every hour. So the staff can clean all the metal surfaces from the slides to the diving boards and lounge chairs. Carissa says when they do open their doors, she and the kids will be ready. It will just be happy to get out and do something different, but staying safe as well. Now, according to the CDC, there's currently no evidence that the virus can spread through water at pools, hot tubs or water play areas. But the concern about the virus spreading at these areas really has more to do with the amount of people coming in and touching the surfaces around the pool. Live in North Topeka, Raina Garcia, KSNT News.